Cryptocurrency trading bots are a hot topic. I mean, imagine just being a developer who can create an app that literally just prints money. We've seen lots of stories about this lately from the guy who made $30,000 per day with his trading bot, all the way to the Board Ape Yacht Club airdrop claimer who made $820,000 instantly. These are all insane results from developers with specific superpowers made possible with blockchain coding. Because blockchain has opened up a world of possibility with DeFi, NFTs, and flash loans to create trading bot strategies that aren't possible anywhere else. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can acquire those same skills actually get these superpowers and give you some of the top tips that you need if you want to try this yourself. I'm going to talk about this as a blockchain developer with trading bot experience who works with this technology on a daily basis. And so if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about how blockchains opened up a world of possibilities for developers to have superpowers and create their own trading strategies that aren't possible anywhere else. So a lot of people are thinking like, hey, trading bots are an absolute scam. Like nothing can reliably continue to predict what cryptocurrency prices are going to be next for the long term, right? And so that's not what these trading bots are doing. That's not what these developers are doing that I talked about in this video. They're creating trading bots that take advantage of opportunities that exist right now on the blockchain, most times with arbitrage opportunities. That's basically where you're able to buy assets in one place and sell them at a different price and profit the difference. And this can be applied to NFTs, cryptocurrencies, advanced DeFi strategies, and so much more. So let's get into the tips on how to do this, all right? So the first thing you have to understand is that when you're going after these opportunities, most cases, it's probably just not going to be a set it and forget it strategy that just works forever without any maintenance. So it's not 100% passive in that way. You know, you can create bots that work while you're sleeping and they can generate passive revenue. But most likely, you're going to be trying new strategies and looking for new profit opportunities on a routine basis. And so there's no simple shortcut to doing this. All right. But there's a ton of upside potential. And the best way to do that is actually learn the fundamentals of how you can create these bots yourself so that you can customize your own strategies and start implementing them. And so that's exactly what I'm going to show you into the trading bot masterclass on Thursday, April 28th. Inside, I'm going to show you to create your own trading bot with flash loans, smart contracts, and also the bot that looks for these opportunities. So sign up to the link down below to hold your spots today. All right, so let's get into some of these top tips for actually creating your own strategies. So the first thing is to just find a strategy that works and really start small and just prove that it works before you start getting too complicated and trying a bunch of different stuff. So the easiest way to start is to do this inside of a training environment or a sandbox environment where you can like not risk any real money, all right, but you can actually do a arbitrage on your local computer. So how do you do that? Well, basically, you can see here's everything you would need basically to pull off, you know, an arbitrage or a trading strategy, whatever it is, it's powered by blockchain. First and foremost, you need a smart contract, okay? Now you'd be able to develop, have be a developer who can code with solidity, all right? But then you need to be able to like hook into the other essential parts that are on the blockchain itself, like the flash loan and other decentralized applications or dApps where you're gonna buy and sell assets, okay? That's what you need at a very minimum, all right? And then probably something to call it or something to watch the opportunities and actually trigger them. So the easiest way to prove that you can do that in the first place is to do it on your computer. But the problem is like all that stuff's out there on the blockchain. But the cool thing is that you can actually fork the blockchain and create a, a, a copy of it on your computer that you can develop with. And you can actually like simulate arbitrage scenarios so that your bot will actually fire and perform it. So that's what you need first. And my top strategy is to get that working, like, like find an opportunity, try to reproduce it. You can also rewind the blockchain and go to different arbitrage uh, scenarios where you've seen other arbitrages happen, then maybe like try to write the code to reproduce those yourself just to make sure that it works. Get it working first before you try to get to the next step. All right, so once you've like proved that you can just create a bot that works end to end reliably with things that actually happen on the mainnet, it's time to start creating your own strategies. So um, let's talk about how to craft strategy in the first place. So first of all, you know, you could go try to be the most competitive arbitrager out there and compete with the big dogs for these really high ticket things. But the better strategy is really just start small and start looking for things that other people aren't doing. Because if you want to compete with everybody else, you got to be the best, you got to be the fastest, or you can basically start trying to find new things that other people aren't already doing. So how can you do that? Well, the best way is to start looking at every single thing inside this equation from the contract, the flash loans, to the dApps, the tokens, or whatever, um, and the blockchains themselves and start tweaking those variables. So the good news is there's a lot of variables out there. Okay, so we've seen a lot of different EVM compatible blockchains pop up all the time. New ecosystems are coming out all the time. 
new applications, new dApps, new tokens, new NFTs. And so in many cases, there's going to be like brand new opportunities that other people aren't just getting to yet. And so you can tweak all those variables. You can try new EVM compatible blockchains. You can try new DEXs. You can try new tokens. But once you learn the basics, you can start tweaking those. And also the good news is if you can write the smart contracts for Solidity and reproduce, you know, the, the results on top of the Ethereum mainnet, you can start tweaking these variables and trying applying to the other blockchains like Binance Smart Chain, Phantom, Polygon, and so many others, Avalanche. So here's some tips on how to do that. So the easiest thing to actually create first is just to prove that you can find an opportunity before you try to execute on it, okay? So when we go back to our diagram about looking at the different parts, you have like the watcher that looks for the opportunities and then compares prices and like liquidity to see, could you potentially, you know, actually make a trade from this one to that one? Does it surface new opportunities to you before you try to actually plug it into a smart contract to execute the trade itself? basically scanning these different DEXs or whatever it is, different assets to see if you can find those opportunities yourself. And if you find them and then you go look to see what happened on the main net, like, did you see someone capitalizing the opportunity? If not, that might be some place where you could write a contract that that implements that strategy. And so that's probably the better order to do it in is to get that watcher working first and then write the contracts to execute on the opportunity. And then that's when you want to try it. Put everything together end to end and see if your arbitrage will actually fire to see if you can make that profit. And it's another tip on this is just because that you can borrow like millions of dollars of cryptocurrency for free with zero money down with flash loans, that doesn't mean you have to always do that. You don't always have to go for these massive high ticket arbitrage opportunities, you know, like these developer who made you know, $820,000 instantly by claiming the Board Ape Yacht Club airdrop. Like he probably didn't have a bot just sitting there watching the opportunity. He actually probably kind of figured that one out and then maybe wrote a script to execute it as a one-off. And again, a lot of the bots that are sitting there raking in massive ARBs in a single transaction are probably highly competitive, but there's opportunities out there to make smaller arbitrages, okay? So what if you can make smaller arbitrages more consistently and you could rinse and repeat that over time? That could actually add up over time where the total amount makes that particular strategy worth it because you're just rinse and repeat, you know, executing over and over and over again rather than trying to get everything in a single transaction. And another way to capitalize on opportunities that some people aren't doing yet is if you're at a new ecosystem, you might be able to use your own money to actually perform arbitrage opportunities. So this has some benefits. So, you know, flash loans are a great way to do this is zero money down. But by using some of your own funds, then you can get into a way where you're not competing with someone else who's using a flash loan. Okay, who might try to change the instructions of your transactions to get included into a block. All right, this can also give you an advantage. Like if you're in a situation where you know flash loans aren't necessarily even possible, then using your own money could give you that advantage. Or if, you know, adding the overhead of a flash loan you know changes the gas cost for getting a transaction included into a block you know using your own money and simplifying that could also give you the competitive advantage here so now using your own money is always going to have significant risks associated with it you've got to put your money in many cases inside of a smart contract or you know approve transactions from your wallet there's always risks when doing that but that is actually a way to become competitive because then you're not just dealing with people who are using flash loans to get it for free all right so let's talk about some tips for discovering new opportunities because people ask me this all the time like hey where can i find new exchange is where can I find new tokens? Where can I find new blockchains? Okay. So basically, you can look at DeFi Llama as a, you know, overview of the different ecosystems out there that are EVM compatible. Okay. This is going to give you a starting point for looking at new blockchains and also different exchanges. Okay. So, you know, you can see uh, all the chain support here, Ethereum, Terra, BSC, Avalanche, Phantom, Solana, Tron, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's a huge long list here. And you can see the different apps that are supported on here. And each chain shows you you know, uh, or excuse me, each app shows you which chain it's supported on. So that's another thing is if you can write a strategy that's EV incompatible for one app on one chain, that can be moved to a different chain as well. And there are many cases where apps are just forks of one another on these chains. So that has a couple of implications. So if you could do like an arbitrage on Uniswap version two, there's a whole bunch of Uniswap version two forks on top of here. You can actually just look at the forks page uh, to see the different you know, Uniswap forks, compound forks, Aave forks. Okay. So that's a pretty good hint at, you know, different apps that you could arbitrage between if you know how to use that particular app itself. It exists in so many places. It just goes by a different name. Similarly, if you can do flash loans with a certain, you know, app on one ecosystem, you can usually do it with you know, this, a different app by a different name or sorry, the same app by a different name on a different ecosystem. So, you know, what are some of the top flash loan providers? Well, you use them like DYDX. You could use Aave, okay? You could use Uniswap itself. And then, you know, you can see that these uh, you know, these apps are forked across many other different blockchains. You can see that list here. 
So some people ask me like, you know, what's another you know, multi-chain uh, flash loan provider? Well, Dodo is a pretty good example. You can see all the different blockchains that they support here. Okay. Uh, many cases you could do that for no fees at all. And so this is some tips on some starting points uh, where you can start tweaking these variables to start changing the blockchain changing the apps that you're arbing between and also changing out the, the flash loan providers because that's what you want to do to create your own strategy. You want to look at every single piece of this equation and seeing like, what are the variables? Like I was saying, the smart contract is a variable because it implements the strategy. The different dApps that you hook into, different exchanges are a variable. The flash loan providers are a variable and then changing your you know watcher to point to different blockchains and point to different apps to look for those opportunities that's also a variable in itself. And these are the places where you can start doing the research to actually implement those strategies because that's what you want to do. You want to start small. You want to start in a sandbox environment, learn the fundamentals on how to do this, get it right, and then start looking for these opportunities and implementing them and getting each piece of the puzzle right step by step from the watcher all the way to the smart contract implementation to see if you can actually fire off an arbitrage opportunity yourself. And so if you want to do this, then this is the starting point, getting this right inside this environment to learn to create your own custom strategy. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you inside the Trading Bot Masterclass on Thursday, April 28th. So inside, basically, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this, how to create your own custom strategy. And then you're going to use that as a tool to go implement your own. Because at the end of the day, you know, I could try to give away a trading bot strategy. But the problem with that is as soon as I do that, then everybody's got that strategy and they're going to be competing with one another. So the best thing that you can do is learn the fundamentals about how to actually create this yourself and then go apply the knowledge, just like everything I talked about in this video. So make sure you sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. All right, so that's all I've got. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you're as fast at this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty today, not wait around for that masterclass. What can you do? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step by step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You'd have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.